Hi guys, this is Teacher SP and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's lesson, let us learn how to divide a fraction. So, I have already discussed about addition of fraction, subtraction of fraction, multiplication of fraction, and division of fraction. So, if you are interested in this video, let's begin. Okay, so guys, so as what I had mentioned just now that our lesson is all about division of fraction. So, alam po natin na ang division is the inverse of multiplication. Parang it's like, um, parang multiplication of numbers that like for example, when you are multiplying 8 times 9, the product is equal to 72. Di po ba? So, kapag dinivide mo po ang 72 divided by 9, ang sagot doon po ay is equal to 8. Meaning, ang division is the inverse of multiplication. So, I have here guys, on the board, 1 half divided by 1 third. But don't worry guys, I have given you 5 steps so that madali lang po mag-divide. Okay? Ang una pong steps ay tinatawag natin na copy. Ano po ba yung copy? So, starts with letter C. After that, you change. 3 is the reciprocal of the second fraction. 4th is the multiply. And 5th step is simplify. So, gagamitin po natin ang 5 steps, steps na ito, guys, sa ating fraction. Okay, so I have here 1 half divided by 1 third. Okay, ngayon, sundin po natin ang 5 steps. Copy, meaning... Ika-copy lang po natin ang first fraction. Okay, so you have copied already one half. Pagkatapos nun, iti-change mo. Meaning, ang division, iti-change mo siya sa multiplication. Kasi sabi ko kanina na ang division is the inverse of multiplication. So, times. So, papalitan mo na pong division ng times. And then, you are going to get the reciprocal. One third. Anong ibig sabihin ng reciprocal? Meaning, ang reciprocal, guys, is the inverse. Babalik tarin mo po ang number na ito na one third. Pag binaliktad mo po ang one third, ang three na denominator ay mapupunta po sa taas. At ang one or ang numerator ay mapupunta sa baba o magiging denominator. Magbabalik tarin mo sila. So, three... And then, over 1. Okay. Pagkatapos nito, guys, is you go, you are going to multiply. Kasi, ang operation niya po ay multiply. So, yung dati nating uh, video na multiplication of fraction. So, let us multiply. You are, kapag nagmumultiply kayo, ito po ay you are multiplying both numerator. So, 
1 times 3 is equal to 3 over 2 times 1 will give you 2. So, the answer is equal to 3 over 2. Pagkatapos nun, ang fifth step is simplify. Ano ibig sabihin ng simplify? You are going to reduce the answer to lowest term. Meaning, ang 3 na ito guys, i-divide natin by 2. So, ilang 2 sa 3? Di po ba 1? So, 1. And then, multiply that 1. 1 times 2 will give you 2. So, 3 minus 2 will give you 1. Itong 1 na ito ay magiging whole number siya. At ang itong sa baba ay magiging numerator. At ito po ay magiging denominator. Therefore, the simplified answer for number 1 or 3 over 2 is equal to 1 and 1 half. Okay? So, if I will be giving you an, an example number 2 that is equal to 2 over 8 divided by 1 fourth. Okay, so ulitin po natin ang ating step. Number 1 is copy. So, you have to copy 2 over 8 and then change ang division. It should change you sa multiplication and then reciprocal. Ano po yung kabiligtaran ng 1 fourth? Di po ba 4 over 1? So, magiging 4 over 1. Pagkatapos nito, you are going to multiply. Okay, so, multiply po natin guys. Ang 2 times 4 will give you 8. Tapos, 8 times 1 will give you 8. So, kapag ni-reduce mo or simplify mo, di po ba 8 divided by 8? Di po ba 1? So, therefore... The answer is equal to 1. So, uh, that's it guys. So, for example, number 3. Okay, so for example, number 3 guys, we have 1 half divided by 2 fifth. Okay, so again, copy. It's 1 half. Change. Division magiging times. Reciprocal, babalik ta rin mo po, magiging 5 over 2, and then we need to multiply. 1 times 5 will give you 5, and then 2 times 2 will give you 4. So ngayon, ang 5 over 4, so pwede po natin, we cannot divide it, we cannot uh, think of a number that we can divide both a numerator and denominator. So kapag ito po, ang gagawin nyo, same pa rin ang process. So, i-divide mo po ang 5 divided by 4. So, how many 4 are there in 5? That is equal to 1. And then, 1 times 4 will give you 4. So, pag uh, din, uh, multi, uh, subtract mo po, 5 minus 4 will give you 1. So, itong ano guys, ito yung whole number na ito. Or, 1, tapos ito yon ay magiging numerator. At saka ito po, yung 4 ay magiging denominator. So, ibig sabihin, ang kanyang simplified form ay 1 and 1 fourth. Okay? So, I have to give you another example. And then, for number 4, guys, okay, I will be giving you an example number 4. And that is, okay, so what are you going to do is you have to divide... 3 over 4 divided by 1 third. Okay, so 3 over 4 divided by 1 third. So, iwan ko po sa inyo yon and to those students, to those vloggers, or kung sino man po ang nanonood ngayon sa akin, if you will um, answer correctly at ikaw po yung una, then you have a surprise or you have a prize with me through GCash. So, ito po yun guys, ang pag-divide. So, again, division is the inverse of multiplication. So, yun po yung ano natin. So, there are four fundamental operations, even though when you are adding decimals, when you are adding fraction, that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In this Four operation, you can use any process 
but the most important thing is you will come up with the correct answer that is how are you going to learn mathematics so mathematics is through exercise through computation through solving and dahil dyan kung palagi kang nagde-divide or kapalagi ka nagko-compute you will improve your mathematical skills so thank you guys for watching and have a great day everyone